Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Hopefully you're having a, a wonderful, sexy Saturday. It is Saturday. Y'all can join me for breakfast. I literally just spilt half of my uh, water. I actually have some uh, apple cider vinegar in there and this lid was off and I just folded up my, my bed for the morning and it spilled water all up on my floor but it was a good test though because i had some i had some extra paper towels but it was a good test you know for this uh commercial grade vinyl i did want to show you um michael my friend and i we finished michael my friend and i michael and i pretty much michael uh finished this aluminum trim uh, on this uh, entryway here i still got to do aluminum trim here i gotta black out this but uh just wanted to show you what was for breakfast at the homeless shelter today. Today, we've got some scrambled eggs and some potato wedges and two packets of ketchup along with an orange juice. Hiya! And for the first time in six months since I've been to the homeless shelter, usually I gift my coffee uh, to one of the guys out there um, or the cookies or the sweets. Today... I have broken my six months off of caffeine and coffee. I don't know what made me want to do it, um, but I am on coffee this morning, so you could probably tell my mannerisms, my behavior is a little bit more different because coffee affects me, alcohol affects me, cocaine affects me. I mean, caffeine is a drug, alcohol is a drug. <clears throat> and when I drink caffeine, I get real jittery and real talkative. and. Uh, I can actually edit videos like nonstop and I have to find, I have to force inspiration. I have to force myself to edit videos because I really want to get that Kawhi footage filmed, uh, edited and I want to get all those food reviews that I've done, um, edited and then I want to do this van stuff. So then when I'm like out on van life and um, then, then I, all of that will be in the world wide web and so I don't have to uh, think about it all the time. So as you can tell, I didn't sleep all that well last night. There were some people partying over there. They're having like some sort of forest. So you can see like, I probably have uh, bags under my eyes. Oh, and also, I know I've talked about this before. I'm totally on coffee, you can tell. I've told this story so many times. I was uh, in 11th grade and I have a lot of hair, but I trim myself well. In fact, I just tweezered my, my, my ear hair I get like these these hardcore thick hairs that come out here and then out of here, and then like I, ha I I pluck my nipples. I think I'm probably gonna stop. As soon as I start wearing eyeliner, I'm gonna stop plucking my nipples. I'm just gonna let my hair grow out. Um, but I'm gonna start wearing eyeliner, and I'm gonna do a video on that. I have it too. But what I was saying is, when I was in 11th grade, I'm totally on coffee. I would um, pluck or pull out my nose hairs, and then. I got like this electric razor and it would go zzzz, and there's something about my colicules, my cuticles, my cuticles of my nose hairs because I used to get like these zits inside every time, like especially if I would pluck it and then I would smoke a cigarette for some reason, getting rid of the hair and then like having the smoke like dry out my nostril, I would get these crazy zits. I'm talking zits that would just put a grown man to his knees and make him cry. So, one time in 11th grade, I thought it was one of those cray cray zits, and actually it was an ingrown hair, and my nose, my nose, this, this nostril was like out to here. My whole nose was swollen like this. And I was like, I just gotta, I just gotta pop this thing, I gotta pop this thing, and I was just playing with it, you know, it was like super, super sore. And then I was just playing, I'm like, I gotta pop it, I gotta pop it. So I went to the mirror, and I'm like, I'm just gonna pop it. And I went, and I went, Zzzz. And I swear to you, like so much blood, green stuff, yellow stuff popped out and there was still more. And then I gave it one last squeeze and a ninja hair, ninja flipped out of my zit on to the mirror. It was like a bloody Sunday. Like it was like um, a Nickelodeon special of just slime. So basically that zit was an ingrown hair that grew through my skin and ninja flipped out of my pore. And I have, I have a little one coming on right now and I haven't had one in a while. It's so sensitive, it's because I plucked my nose hairs. But I don't want, I don't want to be one of those old dudes 
that you know when they're doing an interview and you see hair all up in their ear like you know you see like a reflection or you see the silhouette of just just a fuzzy ear ear and then one of those dudes that have like like crusty crusties read all about it like nose hair is like all out of their nose i don't want to be one of those dudes but i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't wait any longer so i pl i plucked i didn't pluck i pulled a bunch of ninja hairs out and three days later i'm getting one of those little things right here do y'all ever get those it's it's so crazy and the more you touch it the more it hurts um so i'm not going to use that that was going to be my water supply and that was going to go right here see but it's a little bit too girthy see how it's not streamlined see how there's a little bit of emboss right here there's a little bit of undulation and then i have that bluetooth water spout where you just put your finger on it and it comes out what i'm going to do is i'm getting four uh two and a half gallon water bags they're like water jugs so they're like deflatable and they're foldable and i'm gonna make a little cubby hole in here and i'm gonna put um you know i'll probably have two bags of ice in here and then or like if i know i'm gonna go for a week and i have access to a freezer i'll freeze those bags of ice they're really really cool they're basically like mini versions of that but they're BPA free plastic and they're foldable. So they're more, you can move them around. They're more flexible. You know, you can store them. So maybe I can freeze two of them. And then as they defrost, you know, I'll have them in there. Um, so I want to get a divider. Check this out. I want to get some sort of divider where I can have like, you know, two frozen bags of water, but like a divider right here. So the bags of water are right here. Like this is really deep. Like, look. Oh, you couldn't see it's really really deep so i want to divide that some and i don't want styrofoam just because it's not good for the environment some type of and i really don't want glass either some type of plastic where i can put the bags in there and then still have all this space right there full of blueberries spinach um you know melons whatever it is that you know chopped up melons prepared watermelon whatever it is and then that will be um for some dry goods too or what i could do well, I'll probably do another video on that. So that's what I'm going on. I want to go. I want to show you the garden. One of the gardens that I I volunteer at. So here's the sign that I made yesterday. Look at that. Boom. What what? So here's here's the vertical garden that I I volunteer at. Bree's so amazing. Um, and we've got so this side right here is non-organic, and uh, I believe she just harvested. So this is pretty much all of the lettuce that goes at the homelessness kitchen um, and then there's the other organic way behind me i'll show you that sometime but these were donated um i, I forget the name of the, the guy but so these are all vertical gardens these are non-organic and so as you can see those are all lettuce right there and then it has a system and it flows the water and all the nutrients and stuff is in there and then it flows through this irrigation system and then below um Usually she puts broccoli on the bottom rows right there. And I think this is the fourth or fifth cycle. And then at the very top, I can't zoom in at the very top of each one, she'll do herbs. This one right here is completely organic. And this is a tester tester for a brie. Um, as you can see here, they're a little bit different. I don't know if this is a different variant, different species. She's got a lot of herbs, oregano at the bottoms there. And I believe she's trying to do these from seed. Um, and so I think she did these from seed. I could be wrong. Sometimes she has to um, sprout them and then transplant them. But I believe these ones are from seed. And she has a whole nother row back here. But uh, I've learned a lot here. You know, everything that I've learned from permaculture food forest to gardening, and especially the garden in the back, you know, when I get my spot of land, when I get a, you know, an eight by 40 shipping container, my little shanty, my little boat, and then I'll have my van. I just need a little plot of land. Like, look, see this empty space? That's all you need to feed a family of like eight. Just this row, this empty row. You would be amazed at the amount of food that you can grow for your family. And that's what's, uh, that's what's pretty crazy is you'll see a lot of homes 
And in my opinion, as an ex-golf pro, and I've, I've had maintenance crews, you know, I've had a lot of employees that work groundskeeping, but as you see, see that front yard? In my opinion, that's a waste of space. That's a waste of mother nature. And then you put insecticides and fertilizers on there and then you use irrigation. It's just a waste. I mean, I don't even think it's pretty. You know, where's the papaya trees? Where's the mango trees? Where's the avocado trees? Where's the blueberry bushes, you know? And so you'll see all across America, all this wasted space. And basically it's just weeds. There's no, you're, you're not feeding your family and you're actually poisoning because all the insecticides, all the weed killer, all the ortho, all the Roundup goes into the sewer and possibly into the drinking water. So this is really, really cool. This has been a great experience. Um, I'm gonna volunteer here um, for a long, long time, as long as I'm in Florida. Um, they haven't had any volunteers since the uh, Rona Rona. They're not letting anybody else play in here. But I think the homeless shelter is reopening their doors to the homeless, I believe. And the staff is gonna start playing here again on Monday. And Bree the Gardener, she chose me as her number one volunteer. So, you know, her and I have become pretty good friends. And, you know, she knows I'm pretty vigilant about the social distancing and have really good hygiene. So I think we're really gonna tackle the garden over there, which is so rad. And she did this awesome flower garden um, with sunflowers and just a bunch of like, um, uh, beneficial uh, that will attract beneficial insects um, like bees of course and uh, it's really booming she's got greens over there she's got carrots over there she's got radishes cherry tomatoes and uh, maybe tomorrow morning in fact tomorrow morning we'll have breakfast again and uh, I'll bring you over there but that's what I got going on y'all um, this was a, a pretty good win here that I got this finished and this finished, you know, this is really nice. I'm gonna put the exact same thing here and then I'm gonna murder out black this. And then I gotta get some wool for inside of these. I gotta get some wool. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm trying to figure out what I should do with these doors because I wanna use every, every inch I can, um, you know, for space. I will show you one thing that did. I'm not sure if this turned out the way I wanted it, but you know, this was a rock star van for music equipment. It was just super beat up and it was leaking. These are really cool magnets that I need to find. It was already in the van, but I need to feel, figure out what I'm gonna do. But again, wool in here, and then I'm probably gonna put some nice uh, wood there, but I wanna use the space somehow. Um, but I wanna show you this. We also got uh, this done. This was fun. It's too big, this foodie grill. Um, it's, it's a really good toy. It was a lot of fun. I used it three times. Unfortunately, it's just too big. So I'm selling that. Um, and I'm also selling my, my large six quart, um, Instapot. I want a little three quart Instapot. Everything I want it to be small because I don't have that much storage. So as you can see, these are my toy boxes. So, you know, these, are the, these came on this. So I'm trying to sell these, but I don't have much storage in here. And the reason, another reason why I'm not using that water jug is because I'm gonna get a power station. It's 1300 bucks, but I'm gonna manifest it. Even if I have to not spend a single cent for a month, you know, so I can get the power station because that's where my solar and I can run. I mean, pretty much I'll have the power of a house right in a little box like that. It's called the EcoFlow 1300. And um, it's really, really nice. And so I wanna have that there. It's gonna be really clean. I'll secure it where that water jug is, but I don't have much space for storage, but I'm gonna get another one of those beds because when I fold it up, it actually fits perfect. It's 53 inches. So it fits perfect on my toy chest when I stand it up and it only goes to here. So I'm gonna do cupboards, you know, little elevated uh, toy boxes all the way down there and then all the way down there. And then I'm gonna do um, a, a copper or possibly um, aluminum rod. Um, where I can hang all of my fruit baskets with bananas and melons. Um, but I wanna get another one of those because if I get another one of those, if I ninja flip this over, it actually is 48 inches. And if I put two of them all the way from here, see I got this nice aluminum as well. We finished this off and that's real nice. And I'm gonna black this out and get rid of the rust. But look how clean that is y'all compared to what it looked like. I mean, just total next level. And it's gonna be waterproof. I'm gonna put some caulking right here, some silver, um, actually some pewter or uh, gray caulking and then I'm gonna edge this with aluminum but I want another one of those because you can see how long that is now if I fold those two things over and put another one here that is a not a California King that is a Florida King now check this out 
when I want this space open, if I want to put a motorcycle in here, um, if I want to have um, a podcast here, two people sit there, two people sit here, um, you know, that space, I can store both of them there. Now, if I want that open, I can put bed number one here. I can fold it up, put a bungee cord, boom, bungee cord, boom, and put the other bed here. So this will be totally open and I'll still have the storage here. My fan goes in here. I already have it, but I want, I'm blacking it out. Um, so my max air fan goes there and then all of the LED is gonna go there and there. And then I'm also gonna put it behind these toy boxes so I can have a, a beautiful, and they change colors and they match up with the music. I was actually gifted by a rock and rad star, a dash cam this morning. So I'm gonna have to run, I'm gonna have to get a rear dash cam or a rear cam as well. And I'm gonna have to put it somewhere probably up maybe a little bit higher but i need to route the wires so it's motion sensors as well so i'm gonna have a dash cam and a rear cam because look how long this is to back up and again i don't have windows here so it's hard to you know i don't have a rear view mirror or anything so i'm gonna have to put a camera here and i got the dash cam for the front and it's motion sensor night sensors it it does like i don't know i think 10 days worth of video video footage but i need to route all the wires through the the beetle pine through those that's why that space is there and then i'm going to stuff wool all through the roof once i get that fan in, all through the roof and all through the walls and of course all through here so lots of stuff going on lots of stuff going on i actually on the way to breakfast this morning I ninja flipped uh, to the kitchen and I actually walked by one of the older gentlemen that was with the other older gentleman that vandalized my van yesterday. I kept my chin up, my heart open, and I said, good morning, how are you? And he said, good. I said, all right, that's good. So that was a test for me. You know, I didn't look down. I didn't have you know, H-A-T in my heart, I had already forgiven him and, you know, me keeping my chin up and me being kind, even though with what happened yesterday and me engaging and being, you know, kind to him, you know, made him, you know, open up a little bit too. So that was a good learning experience this morning. I want to get naked. I want to get naked and lay out in the sun, but there's nowhere to do that because I have all these tan lines now, y'all. Like I have, I like, I'm getting tan, but I have all these tan lines and there's nowhere to get naked. That's why it's kind of good to be homeless on the Pinellas Trail because you can live, you know, nobody's bothering you and you can just zen out and levitate, meditate, piss glitter and some like peaches under a mango tree and no one's gonna bother you. So that's the only thing. That's why I can't wait till I have all these toys in this thing and I'll bring you all along and I can go to a desert, to a forest and not see a single human being for three weeks. That's where I know I'm gonna do my growth. And then I can ninja flip into town, you know, practice the downloads that I got. Um, I'm actually, um, you know, I'm drinking coffee now. This is my first coffee in six months. That's quite crazy and I can feel it. But um, I really, once I have all these toys in this optimal setup, I, I want to get my hands on some MDMA, some ayahuasca, um, and some um, uh, DMT um, and, and experience those by myself or with an amazing partner or with somebody, um, you know, just a new friend. Um, and then I want to start reading a lot, start listening to, um, you know, consciousness uh, podcasts and, and just seminars and stuff. I, I want, I've, I've done so much work that I don't want to stunt and I don't want to go backwards. So I want to open my mind even more and break down all the barriers and break down and just open up and open up and open up and unlearn and unlearn and unlearn and then relearn things that I can believe or that I will believe or hopefully believe that will help me help others. And the only way I think I can do that is in pure privacy and pure quietness because there's so much static, there's so much going on in city life and just even on social media that, um, you know, this is one of the big reasons for the last four years I've tried to do this so I can have that peace and quiet. Like here, just listen. See, and that's mother nature right there. I want that times 10, you know what I mean? And naked naked i want to be naked and i have my water i'll have my power station i'll have my blender i'll have my juice my juicer i'll have everything that i need to just elevate and elevate and elevate and just levitate and just expand my mind and my heart and so that's what i'm doing i drink way too much coffee hopefully you all enjoyed the garden thank you so much 
for um, all the rock and rad stars that have reached out to me, sending me uh, encouraging messages, uh, beautiful messages, and beautiful gifts from my rad uh, list. Um, I know a lot of you um, are now just finding me over the last year. A lot of you have, you know, been following me and, you know, been my little digital rad friend for four years. So I appreciate all of it. It is sexy Saturday. Get outside. Get some sun. Keep your social distancing and um, don't use the weekend as an excuse to give up on your goals, y'all. Every minute counts um, and work on yourself. Work on inside. Work in here. Work in here and uh, you'll be happier. So, hi Kelly. Hi Michelle. Hi Kathy. Hi Carly. Hi Brandy. I will see you soon. Hi Jen. Hi Diana. Hi Dorothy. Hi Tracy. All right, y'all. I love you very much. Keep it raw. Stay rad. Whoa, what? Ah! You know, I gotta read that again. Keep it raw. Stay rad. Whoa, whoa!